After first bull run, we want to get this army as large as possible and get these units up to 2,000 per. So, yeah, basically every two units that we have right now are going to pour in together. So second best unit into the first best. And that will probably mostly get rid of that unit. And then third best into second best. And yeah, all of the units that we have right now should be one-star units, but we have 15,000 men to put into the army, and I'm going to do that off-camera, but I'm just checking, you know, how many I can bring to river crossing. We have these two side battles. I want to get as much experience as possible, so river crossing is 12 units, and the second battle, crossroads, He's going to say 9, but it's really 10. And I think there's a chance to, as I was doing this, I thought there was maybe a chance to get uh, even more units to show up. So I, I tried to even sneak some more in if I could. But first battle is just going to be um, river crossing. So yeah, I'm going to combine all these guys. And here it is after I do it. And second best into first best that, so that our veterans keep moving up. So I, what I do is I put my units, I organize them by efficiency, and then I just compress them together. And it takes a while, and as the army gets bigger, it's going to take longer and longer. And that's why I did this in the past, in past campaigns, but I stopped just because of how much time it took. But this is such a powerful way to play, I think it's worth the time. Twenty-two thousand to fifteen thousand. Okay, this is a ridiculously easy battle. We outnumber the enemy. We're just going to kind of walk over top of them. So I could take time to draw the enemy across um, the river here. But I'm kind of thinking in terms of I want to encircle the enemy and capture as many as I can. The enemy seems to be counterattacking here, so I take another unit and reinforce this position. One of my units that was in the flanking movement, I've now just pulled off. If he wants to keep pushing across this river, that's great. It's downhill. It has zero cover. Uh, it's going to be a bloodbath if he keeps pushing here. And I hope he does. I hope he keeps pushing here. But the rest of my army is going to cross. Now what I'm trying to do with my units here is I'm trying to have them not walk on top of each other. When your units are on top of each other, they move slower and they grind up stamina and condition and they become exhausted. And exhausted units are pretty... Um, are, are almost useless in combat. So you never let your units run out of ammo and you never let them get exhausted. At this point, I'm just going to keep trying to bait the enemy into the river on the left. And as you can see, I'm already giving large sweeping movements. I want to encircle these guys around the first objective, hopefully capture a couple if I'm lucky, but then continue the encirclement of the entire army and try to get as many captures as possible. Um, yeah, we need to capture as many men as we can because we have tens of thousands of men that are going to join the army and I don't have any rifles. So normally you would spend reputation to get weapons and you'd have plenty of rifles, but because I'm spending reputation to get men, um, it's going to be really hard to get everybody a rifle. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we've pounded this guy at, at the river crossing and as you can see, the blue line is already much bigger than the red line, so the battle's effectively over. Now it's just a question of how many captures do we get and how much XP do we get. I'll pick this up again at the end of the battle.
So we have managed to surround the enemy. I'm thinking he's going to make a dash to the left with his whole army. And if he does, that's fine. We'll just pursue him. Um, I'd like to get as many captures as possible. I'm trying not to capture the flag. We need to kill his general. His units will keep coming back uh, from surrender. Like, they're trying to surrender now, but his commander isn't dead. So I'm trying to kill the commander. I'm trying not to have him... Like, if you squeeze your units too close to him, he'll rout as a mob in a direction. So now his commander's dead. Now I can have people move in and get captures, and his units will surrender. Uh, you don't want to do that until the commander's dead. And if he is going to route to the left, that's fine. So I'm trying to move units to get in position. If he does, like, you know, as, as a mob, they'll just take off running. All of the units will take off running trying to get out of the pocket. So if I can capture them in here, that's great. And if I can't, well, that's okay. And, and, and they all surrender. So I get about 5,000 captures. That's terrific. About almost 10,000 kills. That's 15,000. I lose 2,500. Uh, but 5,000 captures is very, very good for this battle. So, yeah, units get lots of experience. Uh, taking a look at these. Um, I, I think I have something compass as a general in here. Did I, did I move him? Okay, good. And we're starting to get generals and colonels with promotions. About 3,000 weapons. We need a lot more. So I have almost 6,000 men to put into the army. Yeah, General Something Compass is he got into the battle and he got XP. By putting him in a unit, he got a lot more XP than as a Corps Commander. Need to get him to not just two stars, but three stars as quickly as I possibly can. And start getting a couple of these other generals on their way to three stars. So... Yeah, that guy's very close to his star. And this guy got his star. So, okay, very, very good. Firearms and stamina looking pretty good. Yeah, I put six pounders in here because I had 12 of them for free and I needed to get one unit of artillery and not two. Yeah, I need at least six in army organization for Shiloh. And I don't need more than six for Shiloh. So I can go one more battle. Maybe go into politics. It doesn't really matter. Um, I can take six right now. But um, yeah, I think it's six we have to have for Shiloh. Yeah, I'm thinking I kind of, I kind of would like to get units to 2500, but I don't think my units are going to be 2500 for Shiloh. You need more units and they're going to be smaller. They're going to be probably less than 2000 the way this works out. Um so I have to get 6000 more men into the army. I have plenty of rifles for right now, but I I think oh, I'm I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to also get I think it's 4,000 with reputation. And I'm going to get another 5,900 in the next battle. So that's 10, 11, 12, 16,000 men. So see what I mean? I need a lot of rifles. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.